What's good, y'all? It's your boy AJ. Welcome back to another Nukes Top 5. This one, you got five ghost feeders that are pretty dang scary, y'all. So I ain't here to waste no time. So without further ado, man, let's get it. Y'all snacking on. I got brisk. This is good. The Old Washu Club. The Old Washu Club in Virginia City, Nevada is over 150 years old. In the wild Dang. west of Nevada in the 1860s, the club was originally a house of debauchery for super wealthy men. Mm. They would drink, gamble, and partake of the club's, quote, women of the night. Oh, it yeah? is said that many of these women lost their lives at the hands of some of the more violent and intoxicated upper class patrons. Bro. Some believe that the souls of the women who passed away there still wander the old Washu Club to this day. I bet. As for other spirits who are said to inhabit the old Washu Club, the spirit of a 10 year old girl named Gretchen who was trampled by a stagecoach in front of the saloon is also said to haunt the second floor of the old Washu Club. Ooh. And the dark and tragic history of the club doesn't end there. In 1982, a man named Scotty took his own life on the third floor of the building. Workers and visitors say that they often hear his spirit pacing back and forth on the third floor. That's a creepy hallway. Mumbling to himself. And he's sometimes even spotted standing at the top of the club's staircase. Mm -mm. Ghost hunters Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Nick from the popular ghost hunting channel Twin Paranormal visit the Old Washu Club to do an overnight investigation. Throughout the night, the team's equipment fails and shuts off multiple times. It's it's dead. Dead, dead. Mm. Like critical dead. How? There's no way. And they hear creepy footsteps and unexplained sounds. What was What's that? that? That was a cough. That was one of y'all. If it's one of the girls, make a knock. Oh, no, I'm out of there, bro. I'm out of there, bro. Was that you? No. Straight out of there. Was that you? Was that you? No, 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 I swear, I swear. You? No. None of us. Oh, my God. We were standing completely still. We're going to play your song. We're going to play your song. All right, it did kind of sound like it said no. And that's just a tiny sample of all the strange sounds that they capture inside the old Washu club. Even creepier, when all the guys go into the downstairs ballroom to do a spirit box session, their static camera that's pointed at the staircase captures something downright chilling. Oh, chilling. What was that? Abandoned. 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 What do you mean abandoned? I really can't see the shadow. This place picture. was? You were? I don't see it. Y'all see it? How are you feeling right now? Are you happy? Are you sad? A bizarre shadow figure seems to walk right up to the staircase I'm and then just it. sort of retreats or disappears back out of sight. This that is the same paint. spot where many witnesses claim to have seen the apparition of Scotty. The man who took his own life in the room at the top of these very stairs. The twin paranormal team heads up those stairs to the room where Scotty passed away. That's when things take a terrifying turn. Bad idea. The room. The room. Oh my god, dude. That just gave oh me chills. Oh my god, me too. That just gave me chills. Too. Holy what? Holy uh, god! What was that? Guys, something was just standing there and it, it like morphed into an orb and it flew that way as soon as you turned around literally get as soon as somebody get out get look out the sign. get Turn out around look at the sign get out what was that no no what no no that? no what was that the camera the action cam, oh, the cam was on the ground no it's on the ground oh my god the action cam flew off it said get out <laughs> there's a lot going on right now no 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 Bro. what the Yo, yo, give me your camera. No, 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 no. Hey, guys, we're not. Calm down. Calm down. You're oh. kidding. No. Bro, there's a lot going on right now, bro. These past 20 seconds, bro, a lot happened, bro. I can't process. Every time I try to process one thing, something else happens, bro. Like, there's so much going on in the span of 20 seconds, 20 to 25 seconds, bro. Like, didn't do anything this wrong. is crazy, bro. That's got scratched up. Camera's falling. 
People getting pushed. Look, I don't have nails. Keep talking to look, them. Look, there's no, no way that I could have done this to myself. No f way. Oh, I can hear your voice. Like I can, I can swear oh, you guys. Hear it. Oh, you're kidding. No, 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 no. Don't touch it. Don't touch don't it. Don't touch it. Hold on. Why Hold not? On. Wait, you can touch it. The screen is cracked. Look, guys, no string. There's no string. This can. This is real. 100% real. First, Ryan sees something he can't explain on the other side of the room. The spirit box says, get out. Then one of their cameras sitting at the top of the staircase flies off its tripod, smashing the camera's screen. Then out of nowhere, River Keep gets camera. scratched by something on his left side. Three long scratches that go all the way from his ribs to his hip. River shows that he has no nails and wouldn't have been able to scratch himself in any way. It's weird. So did the twin paranormal team capture one of the angry spirits that seemed to be stuck at the old Washu club after meeting a tragic fate? Or could these seemingly violent apparitions be something more sinister? Let me know what you think. That's you still crazy. Twin paranormals That's still crazy to think about. Like how do ghosts able to touch you and touch physical things, but we can't touch it and we can't see it. But they can see us and they can interact with the world like that is crazy bro continuing investigation of the old Washu club that? over on their youtube channel where they capture even more strange activity so be sure to check it out i actually learned. do that let's gabriel learn. martinez navarro posted a very creepy video to his facebook page that shocked thousands of viewers in the video, Gabriel explains that he's on his way to the abandoned Benito Juarez school on a desolate road outside his hometown of Walla Huises, Mexico. He claims that he has seen a video of a small ghost hunting group who went to the long abandoned school and captured an unexplained voice that said, quote, it hurts so much. It hurts so much. Gabriel is very skeptical of the alleged taunting and decides to go investigate the school himself in the middle of the night and all alone i probably don't even need to say this but it did not go well i bet That's no coincidence. Gabriel enters one of the abandoned school's classrooms. On the side of the room, there are stacks of what appear to be old rusted school desks. Suddenly, a heavy plank seems to slide down on its own before it falls hard on the concrete floor. Then the entrance door, Gabriel's only way out, slams shut. He's stuck. After gathering his courage, he slowly makes his way towards the door to leave the school grounds. That's when things get truly bizarre. Can <sighs> Bro, that's the only way out. Is that outside? Oh, it is outside. Wait, I think I seen something. This dude. You could tell this is not he's not made for this, bro. He keeps like panning and like he's so scared, bro. He's shaking the whole camera, bro. Like, bro, you're not built for this, bro. I'm sorry to tell you that, bro. But if you're gonna keep on acting like this, bro, don't ever do this again, bro. I'm sorry. He was terrified. Look, and he's full on screaming, like, nah. Did you see it? A sound startles Gabrielle and he turns around and on the left side of the door frame, barely visible on camera, a face appears, sending Gabrielle Ooh. running in fear. 
did not see that. The small face appears to be that of a child, its glowing eyes staring at Gabrielle from the dark. So did Gabrielle actually capture the paranormal activity that he was so skeptical about? Probably. Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Long story short, if, hey, whoever made this video or whoever is in this situation right now, if you're watching this, don't ever do this again, bro. Like, you're so nervous, bro. Like, when you got to do stuff, if you want to do stuff, uh, uh, man, I can't see. If you want to do something like this, bro, you can't be scared. I mean, you could be a little scared, but don't be like this, bro. Like, you're terrified. It's like you got dared to do this, bro. <laughs> bro. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for yeah, the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Something in the cellar. Something in the cellar. Realtor and single mom Ashley Kettering from Loveland, Colorado usually posts videos about her experiences as a realtor. But one night on November 12th, while she and her five-year-old were fast asleep in bed, Ashley got a movement notification from her living room security camera. When she checks the footage, she is shocked. Ooh, what is that? Now, Ashley Kettering claims that she has no pets and therefore has no clue what the strange figure creeping from her basement could be. She That's also explains that her basement windows have sensors on them, so nothing or no one could have gotten inside without her knowing. Concerned viewers on TikTok ask Ashley to move her camera to film down the basement stairs. When she does, she captures something absolutely Horrifying. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, this is why I don't mess with basements, y'all, bro. I promise you that. Again, bro. a small, unexplained figure seems to creep around the bottom of the basement stairs. And that basement has no door, it's wide open, bro. That's the worst type of basement to have. Due bro. to digital compression, it's pretty hard to tell exactly what the figure could be. So, what did Ashley catch on her basement stairs? That's a physical is it shadow something person. paranormal, or is it just an elaborate hoax? Three words: you physical shadow person. That's what it is, man. It's physical. Being shadowed. Shadow. Another shadow figure. Paranormal investigators Kevin and cameraman Fabio from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto explore a cemetery in Mexico where mostly children are buried. The graveyard's caretaker believes the cemetery to be extremely haunted. It's he a says that he's only worked at the children's graveyard for two years, but in that time, he claims he's heard voices and has seen the ghosts of children playfully running around the gravestones. As host Kevin is telling the caretaker's creepy story, he and cameraman Fabio are interrupted. Él ya lleva aproximadamente dos años trabajando en este lugar y nos cuenta que en todo este tiempo ha tenido manifestaciones, incluso en donde él duerme. Nos comentaba que le han bajado. ¿Qué pasó? No sé, bueno, ¿Se escuchó? Sí. I think I heard, yeah, I think I heard some too. No, ¿Fue como un quejido? Sí. As Kevin is right in the middle of telling the story about the cemetery's caretaker, a child's faint moan can be heard right behind cameraman Fabio. Fabio quickly turns around, but there's no one there. Kevin begins to ask questions directed at the child spirit that might be following them, and the strange activity begins to intensify. Niño. Si quieres jugar. Oh, that's not a real clue. Mamón, güey. A tu lado, a tu costado. Sí. Hacia allá se escuchó, güey. Se escuchó hacia allá. No mames, cabrón. Otra risa. Fue otra risa, güey. Even though he's a bit spooked, Archivo Extinto host Kevin begins to taunt the entity to show itself. What happens next is downright chilling. No tengo miedo absoluto. Te pido que te manifiestes. Oh! No seas mamón, güey. Allá, acá, 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 acá. acá. Fue acá abajo, como. Acá abajo, güey. No mames. 
Alguien corrió, güey. ¿Escuchaste? I definitely heard that. Did you hear that? No mames. Dime qué es lo que quieres, niño. Oh. Vete a la chingada. That was clear. Qué chingados. Cameraman Fabio has now had enough and just wants to get out of there. I bet. As they are heading towards the graveyard's exit, Kevin reflects on what they have experienced at the creepy cemetery. Fabio pans the camera around one last time and captures something truly terrifying. I think I've seen something. Un cementerio, un cementerio lleno de de actividad, repleto de manifestaciones paranormales. Muchas energías, mucha energía vagando por todas las tumbas, por todo el sitio, tratando de jugar. ¿Es eso Did you see it? I think so. As Fabio pans his camera around to get a quick shot of the cemetery around them, something seems to be oh. standing right behind them. I just see the guys that. say that they I didn't even that. notice right. it at the time but a dark figure seems to be following them as they are leaving the cemetery grounds. I'm looking at that white thing YouTube right there. Facebook viewers believe that it could be the apparition of one of the children buried in the cemetery. But what do you think? You can check out this full video and more creepy investigations over on Kevin and Fabio's YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. High School Haunt. After a devastating fire destroyed most of the town of Goldfield, Nevada in 1923, oh, the Goldfield High School was one of only two remaining large historical buildings in town. The high school was built in 1907, and although at first it was only a high school, eventually it was used to teach children of all ages. It is said that when the school was in operation, the children were often cruelly punished by the school's somewhat sadistic principal. Even like darker. That. A student allegedly passed away from carbon monoxide inhalation in the building's coal room. Goldfield High School was closed in 1953 due to a cracked and weakening foundation. It has remained empty and abandoned for almost 70 years. Locals claim that the building is extremely haunted by both the spirits of the departed principal and her former students. Ghost hunters Tony, Desmond, Caden, Jossum, and Eric from the YouTube channel Ogden Paranormal spend the night at the creepy abandoned school in hopes of capturing evidence of paranormal activity. Soon after they begin to set up their equipment, team member Eric, who is near the former principal's office, begins to feel very ill. What's going on, bro? Socked in my stomach. I feel so nauseous now. It's like you got socked in your stomach? Yeah. I was just following Caden, trying to figure out where to put this shit. Yeah, weird. I was walking this way, and you behind me, and then you just like, mm -hmm. and it was just like, whoa. Uh, yeah. I don't think you said whoa or something like that, and it was just kind of like, almost like when you was going like, to stumble, and then you just pretty much just sat down. You good, E? I think I need, I need some air, dude. Yeah, let's get you I outside, bro. Right. I feel so sick right now. Be out of it. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Like I said, don't feel like I guess you... it could be worse, right? It could I... be worse, and here's the other thing is... Like, you're in charge here. It's not... You know, it's their building and stuff, but... I'm a person, dude, and I feel like I'm crying right now. Now, Eric is a diehard skeptic when it comes to the paranormal. But after this experience, he is reluctant to join the others as they head back upstairs. It seems that the Ogden Paranormal team is beginning to provoke some strange, unexplained activity in the abandoned high school. The team splits up and only Tony, Jossum, and Caden remain on the third floor. They try to taunt what they believe could be the spirit of the school's former principal. That's when things get truly bizarre. Do you think it's okay to lock them in a closet? Because it's not okay. Ooh. What was that? That sounds like a chair. Yeah. Oh, a chair? What was that? What was that? It's a chair. Yeah.
The sound of a chair sliding across the floor can be heard and soon after an EVP follows that seems to greet them. What makes this incident so strange is that this isn't the only time they hear the mysterious chair. When they are on the second floor, they hear this. Another chair sliding? Woo! Oh, that's... Bro, I thought that was something paranormal. That's his buddy, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That that legit terrified me, bro. The fear that was in my eyes, bro. You can actually see it, bro. Bro, that's his buddy, man. What's his flashlight at, bro? Why are you in the dark? Is that what you're about that sound of shit? That squeaky sound? It sounded like a chair sliding. Then again later, this. Are you up there? You were spawning by dragging chairs, man. Because there are many chairs scattered around the high school building, the team is unable to find the exact source of the mysterious sound. But meanwhile, team members Desmond and Eric are investigating one of the high school's classrooms. Desmond asks the spirits of former students a few confrontational questions about the school's cruel principal. Just then, one of their static cameras in the next room catches something very strange. Oh, bro. Has she hit you? If she was to do that nowadays, she would go to jail. They got balls of steel. Right as Desmond says that, our static camera right outside the classroom catches some sort of shadow or mist near the toy trigger objects. It's pretty faint, but if you look near the bottom half of the screen, you'll see a mist-like anomaly go from right to left towards the piano. We'll play it on a loop so you can more easily see it. Yeah, so did the Ogden Paranormal team capture a shadow apparition on camera? Are former students or maybe even the malicious principal still haunting the school hallways? Let me know what you think. Bro, it got you can check still, out this man. full investigation as well as many more creepy ghost hunts over on the YouTube channel, Ogden Paranormal, Paranormal Investigations. Thanks for watching for channel right, updates it, and man. other random Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the AA and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.